What VST2 allows me to do now, I can grab the Hi-Hats, double click, and actually edit this MIDI information on a per note basis. So I can actually come in and draw a pan control. Only the Hi-Hats are going to pan. Yeah. Now you couldn't do this with general with MIDI information. If, if I drew in a pan controller, the whole drum kit would shift across the stereo field. Now we can go further with this. We've got control over things like tuning. So what I could do is maybe do some pitch stuff with my hi hats. Yeah. Now let's come into our kick drum and just to prove the point will apply a completely different pitch bend curve to the kick and snare. Get it? Make sense? It really does take MIDI programming to the next level. I know a lot of times people have been kind of a bit re reluctant to use MIDI stuff because it's quite fixed but we can now get into each individual note. So all you guys that are into your synthesis and stuff, if you've got maybe a pad, a chord held down, you could apply a filter effect to just one note in that pad. Um, if you've used a lot of things like motifs and stuff, we've got really cool acoustic guitar type samples with pitch bends and stuff like that. You wouldn't want the whole chord to have a pitch bend type effect. I can apply it just to one individual note.